Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dave Cosby for 7522 Network. We're here tonight at the fifth annual Estes Park Film Festival. This evening, we have a great opportunity to visit with Patrick Ray. Patrick uh, had a great entry this year. Get off my porch. Get off my porch, yes. Hi, Patrick, it's great to have good, you yeah, here. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, uh, it's fantastic. It's great. Now, you've actually entered in the film festival previously. Yeah, I mean, this is actually our fifth year, I think, having a film in the film festival. So. It's been all five years, Yeah, all it? five years, and actually, you know, I, we started out with the Central Nebraska Film Festival where I met Sean, and, and so we've just been entering our films, and I, I'm sure that people have been able to see some of our learning curve as we've been making the films and getting better at what we do, and our crew's getting better and stuff like that. The lighting's getting better. So, you know, hopefully we're, we're moving up, so. Well, Get Off My Porch was really, really interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, I was there in the rooms with the people. Yeah. I was in the house. I mean, it was fantastic. Now, you wrote and directed this. That's film. correct. That's correct. I, you know, I was a Boy Scout. Uh, I actually went to Eagle Scout and, uh, when I was like, before I was like, I was like 14 when I got my Eagle Scout. But I, you know, had to go around from house to house asking people to buy stuff. So I wanted to make something that was kind of playing with that a little bit. But, uh, you know, with the idea, it's got a, got a little bit of body snatchers a little bit in there, just to, in terms of like the people get addicted to the cookies and they become zombified and stuff like that. I'm giving away stuff with the story, but, uh, you know, it, it's kind of got a more of a horror comedy feel to it more than anything, I think. Well, it is. It starts out very innocently. Innocent, we see the and it gets progressively the darker as it goes, right? So, and uh, these girls selling cookies aren't your normal girls. They're very persistent. Yes, oh, wow. yes. And they were great to work with. And, uh, one of them, uh, Catherine McNamara, went on to go on to Broadway with Catherine Zia Jones and a little night music recently. And uh, so she's still doing the show. Uh, I think they've since replaced Catherine Zia Jones, but she's still still working hard on that. And uh, Andrea Strickler has also been doing a lot of stage in Kansas City. So. They've been doing a great job. So. Well, those girls have great talent. They delivery. have a lot of talent, yeah, absolutely. They're easy to direct. They are just, you know, just look cute and, you know, smile and look evil, you know, or be creepy, you know. Yeah. So they did a good job. So. It was great. Well, I noticed the photography itself right there in the rooms. Right. I was there. Uh, I felt the emotion of the people that were in there. Yeah, right. Uh, you got some great actors. Brad Meehan, he's actually uh, kind of a local comic, a stand-up comedian in Kansas City. And I've actually put him in some of our other films, but he's always played like a cop or, you know, and, and so I wanted to put him in something where he was kind of the main character. And uh, he was, yeah, he was great to work with. And uh, then I put, I have like cameos of some of the other actors that have been in some of our previous films. Um, uh, Jennifer Ploss, Aretha Bell. Um, Jennifer Ploss plays the wife. And, and then Ty Jones, who directed Last Breath, plays the, the reporter on the television at the very end of the movie, you know, interviewing uh, interviewing the Brad character about the cookies and stuff. So I was just trying to get a little bit of everybody that I could in there as, as you know, kind of a cameo of our, from our previous films. So. so I understand you had a few uh, challenges in production. Well, itself. yeah, I mean, you know, we thought, let's shoot this movie in December, which is not smart to do in Kansas. So uh, <laughs> there was snow everywhere. And of course, I had little girls on the porch freezing the whole time, you know, because you know, I had to shoot them, you know, knocking on the door. And, in their little uniforms. In their little uniforms. And, uh, you know, it was like 20 degrees. And then it got dark and it was like, you know, 10 degrees. And we're running around with lights and stuff. And actually, surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. And it's amazing how quickly uh, you can get the shot when you're freezing. How quickly things can get set up and, and, and moving. But um, also, uh, Catherine had an injury. She had blown her kneecap out the week before shooting. So she had a leg brace the whole time, and then, uh, so Andrea had to double for her some shots. There's a shot of her skipping. It's supposed to be Catherine, but it's actually Andrea doing the skipping. So, I mean, stuff like that, it, you don't count on. Like, everything was just going perfectly smooth, and then, you know, that happened while she was in a play. She blew her kneecap out, so. Um, so <laughs> Everybody seemed to be perfect for the parts that you right, cast. Right, right, exactly. It's, it's, and so I, I didn't want to do any change to the cast. I wanted to keep the cast the same. And she's like, well, I can wear the leg brace. And you know, I said, we'll just frame you in the shot so you can't see the leg brace. And it worked out fine. So, so just she just couldn't stand for long periods of time. But, you know. Well, you seem to have a lot of passion for your work. And I imagine we have something else coming up here real soon. I have a feature film uh, titled Nailbiter, which is actually being produced by the same guy who produced Last Breath, which is showing here this, this year. And uh, we are almost done. Almost done. We're probably going to premiere it in April, and uh, it's looking good. It's a, it's a horror movie, a little bit more of a straightforward horror movie as opposed to some of the Twilight Zone. There's not as much comedy in it as, as our previous work. And then we have another short called Time's Up Eve, which we're 
as of next week, we will be completely finished with and start sending out the festivals. And that's set in the 40s, it's black and white, and it's it's kind of got a supernatural tone to it, and it's just kind of a different different kind of movie that, you know, than what we're used to, so. Outstanding. Well, it doesn't sound like you're ready to switch careers right no, now. No, I, I have no plans to switch okay. careers. So. Uh, I, I've, I've been watching you here <laughs> at the Film Festival, I can tell this is your passion. Yeah, this absolutely, your... absolutely. I am a lifer, so. So what's it like to be able to pursue your dream? Well, it's great. Uh, you know, every now and then I have to stop and realize, you know, I've been out of college since 2002 and I'm still doing films, which is just like every now and then you're like, I've been doing this for almost eight, eight, nine years now. And I, you know, been doing it as a, as a career, which, you know, so I'm extremely thankful for that. And uh, so it's one of those things where, you know, every now and then you just have to stop and look around and smell the roses a little bit. And, and film festivals, it's great to do that because you come here and you're like, this is kind of the reward for the hard work of showing the film to an audience. So. Well, I know it's a lot of camaraderie with you and the other filmmakers. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you actually know several of them from previous experiences. Yeah, absolutely. Like Max, who's got Max Menzer, who has a short film that here this year. He's uh, he and I went to high, like, high school together, and, and he grew up in my my same hometown in Nebraska. And it's just very, it's just small world, you know. Outstanding, but very big all yeah, at the same time. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. Well, we're going to be looking forward to those other productions that you're going to be creating. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we'll be looking forward to that, and you do bring an energy to the film festival itself, and I've been really glad to meet you. Great. And have you here this Thank time. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here next year. I'll be here. Outstanding. <laughs> Gosh, thank you, Patrick, oh, no so problem. much thank for you. being with us tonight. I'm Dave Cosby with 7522 Network here at the fifth annual Estes Park Film Festival.